Hi guys, this morning I read something that said do something that scares you a little every day. This is me doing that something. I'm Mary Frida Kadhura Kiaira and I'm a Christian fiction author. It feels really good to say that. I've, I've always wanted to write and uh, as I've gone through life, I think God has shaped me to this point in my life. I realized that I loved writing in primary school because I loved to write compositions. But it became more clear one day when the English teacher in high school told us to write a short story, an impromptu story. And uh, what I wrote stood out to her so much that she told me that this was my gift. Uh, before that, I had written recreationally also. I used to read a lot of novels in high school. Uh, though I used to read a lot of romance novels because that is what was available for us. Uh, it was almost like everyone had a romance novel, so we used to exchange with friends and read them when we were uh, in our recreational time. So because of this, uh, my writing was more into romance when I was in high school. Uh, I also noticed that uh, my friends would always queue for the books. There was always someone telling me, when you finish writing, I want to read immediately. Then someone else would say, after her, it's me. And uh, most of my friends said uh, they loved the plots and the storyline. And this was really encouraging to me. So I always knew that my gift from God was writing. Now, when I, when I got out of high school, I didn't write for quite a while. In high school, I remember writing around seven books. Uh, yeah, complete stories. And I thought I would have them published one day. But when I got out of high school, I think... Uh, through the different changes I went through in life, I used to ask myself, is this a book I would give to my parents to read? And for me, the answer was no at that point. So when I went to campus, I still wanted to write. So I really tried to connect how I would write Christian books and fiction. And I never quite got the connection. So throughout campus, I never wrote uh, so much except for during holidays, probably to earn some money. I would write articles and all that. So when I finished uh, campus, uh, one day when I was coming from church, I was really inspired by the preaching of the day about King David and how he defeated Goliath. So when I got home, I was so fired up. I actually wrote a book about it. And it was time for Goliath to die, so take the shot. The book was basically about the Goliaths in our lives. Uh, it was about probably the depression or uh, self-esteem, any problem that you face in your life. I was trying to connect how to use the strategy that David used to defeat Goliath in solving the problems that we find ourselves uh, within our lives. So uh, that was an inspirational booklet. After that, I stayed uh, around four years without writing until last year when I wrote my first Christian fiction book triumph of faith. Now this changed my life because I really enjoyed writing that book. Even now when I look at it and remember the feelings that went through my mind when I was writing and uh, knowing that this book will actually go into many homes that I'll never enter, I really feel inspired to do even much more. For me, this was a great milestone because now our generations will have Christian fiction on their bookshelves to choose from. 
this is really important for me. Why do I say this? Of all the books I read in high school, only one really spoke to me. It was a book called The Princess about a deaf Christian girl who got the attentions of a prince. Now, apart from the fairy tale bit, the book was uh, really teaching in terms of character and self-esteem and valuing oneself. For me, that was an important message, especially in my high school years. So I think, I think of Christian fiction as uh, an avenue to entertain, even as we teach uh, good morals and teach about the love of God. So soon after that, I got the inspiration to write The Crooked Crown, which is here, which is another great story, if I may say myself, of uh, how we place our value in the wrong places and expect fulfillment from all the wrong things. It tells a tale of someone who is on a quest to find their value, but in the wrong place. Now, one big highlight for me is the feedback I've gotten from people about these books, which has really fired me up to do even much more and even find people who would like to write the same to support and mentor. When I uh, hear comments from readers like, uh, this book is so real, is this something you went through? And I say no, then I know I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. Because if this story can resonate with someone and they can be able to look to get into the character and see their problems through the character and ask the Holy Spirit to deliver them from them, then my work is done. I think uh, for every person who wants to write out there, just that. Uh, there are a lot of people who love to read as I have surprisingly discovered, even though we, we say Kenya is not a reading nation, I have discovered that people will read good content when it's created. So for those who want to write, just write. For those who would like uh, to get my books, my Facebook uh, handle is Mirifrida Kaira. I also have a page on Facebook that is Right Life Kenya. Right Life Kenya. I run a blog also called Right Life Kenya where I share a lot of Christian content uh, in form of stories, inspirationals, also recipes. <laughs> it's a sort of all-round blog. I also do interviews of a uh, beautiful Christians who are going about their daily lives, impacting uh, generations in simple ways, just being themselves. So, because today I have achieved a great feat <laughs> of talking in front of a camera, I am going to stop here before I start repeating myself. I thank you for watching. I really hope uh, I get to... Uh, hear you feedback for this video and also if you've read any of my books kindly leave your review whether it is an encouraging review or something I could do better for the books or if you know someone who really needs that message then you can holler thank you and goodbye